Idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, or IPF, is a chronic and progressive lung disease marked by scarring of the tiny air sacs in the lungs, known as alveoli. Over time, this scar tissue stiffens the lungs, replacing healthy structures and making it harder for oxygen to pass into the bloodstream. Because the cause of IPF is unknown, there's currently no cure. The disease typically affects people in their 60s or 70s and develops gradually. Common symptoms include shortness of breath, especially during physical activity, a persistent dry cough, and fatigue. As fibrosis worsens, breathing becomes more difficult, leading to reduced quality of life and, in advanced cases, respiratory failure. For more than a decade, treatment options for IPF have been limited to two main drugs, perfenidone and nitidanib. While they help slow lung function decline, many patients continue to experience disease progression or cannot tolerate the side effects. Now, there's a breakthrough. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration has approved Jascade Nirandomalast tablets for idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, the first new IPF treatment in over 10 years. This approval was based on two large, randomized, double-blind, placebo-controlled trials in adults with IPF. The key measure was forced vital capacity, FVC, the total amount of air a person can exhale after taking a deep breath. Patients treated with Jascade experienced a statistically smaller decline in FVC compared with those who received a placebo, meaning Jascade slowed the loss of lung function. Jascade works differently from existing IPF drugs. Its active ingredient, Nirandomilast, is a selective phosphodiesterase 4B, PDE4B inhibitor with both anti-inflammatory and anti-fibrotic effects. Normally, the PDE4B enzyme breaks down a molecule called cyclic adenosine monophosphate, CAMP, which helps regulate inflammation. By blocking PDE4B, Nirandomalast increases CAMP levels, reducing inflammation and interrupting the scarring process that damages lung tissue. Research has shown that Nirandomalast prevents lung fibroblasts, the cells responsible for producing scar tissue, from transforming into myofibroblasts, the key drivers of fibrosis. It also reduces excessive extracellular matrix buildup and may even help restore normal cell function in fibrotic tissue. Jascade is taken orally at a dose of 18 mg twice daily, about 12 hours apart. For patients who experience tolerability issues, the dose may be reduced to 9 mg twice daily, except for those taking perfenidone, esbriet, since the lower dose did not provide an FVC benefit in that group. Across both clinical trials, patients treated with Jaskide maintained better lung function over 52 weeks compared to placebo. It was effective both alone and in combination with other antifibrotic drugs, with similar discontinuation rates between Jaskade and placebo groups, suggesting good tolerability. The most common side effects, Psi 5%, included diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, fatigue, headache, dizziness, depression, upper respiratory tract infection, weight loss, decreased appetite, COVID-19, and back pain. Most side effects were mild to moderate, and few patients discontinued treatment because of them. Overall, Jascade represents a well-tolerated option that offers new hope for patients who have had limited choices for too long. This approval is a major milestone for the IPF community. For over a decade, there have been no new treatment advances. Jascade introduces a novel mechanism of action that targets both inflammation and fibrosis, addressing two key drivers of the disease. By slowing the decline in lung function, Jascade helps patients breathe easier for longer, preserve independence, and potentially extend survival. For healthcare providers, it offers a new tool to personalize IPF care, 
either as a standalone therapy or alongside existing antifibrotics. Given the relentless nature of IPF, Jascade's approval marks a turning point ushering in a new era of treatment that could reshape how this devastating disease is managed. Jascade isn't just a new drug, it's a new beginning for patients living with idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis. For more updates on breakthrough drug approvals, clinical insights, and the science behind new treatments, subscribe to Drug Insight Hub, where complex medicine becomes clear.